Hey guys, welcome to AppleDiaries.com. I'm Mariah. Welcome to my Heal Thyself channel where I'm discussing health, detox, how to heal thyself, and a few gardening tips, propagation tips, anything to do with self-sufficiency, plants, um, becoming, you know. Anyways, so I am on day two of a watermelon juice cleanse. I'm feeling really good. A lot of people are asking, hey, why are you wasting your time doing a juice cleanse when you could just do a couple days of water? There are many different levels to healing and to health. I'm not looking to do any deep cleansing right now with a, with a water fast. What I'm looking for is just ultimate hydration. I just want to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate for a few days. It's just, it's what my body was asking for and that is why. So what is the most hydrating foods on the planet? It's the fruits and watermelon. It is amazing, especially when you are like me, you don't want to be juicing all day. I just get a giant watermelon, I juice once, get a few jars, that's enough for me. I don't need any of these complicated mixtures, I keep everything simple. Um, one ingredient, watermelon, and that is that. Anyways, back to my beautiful fig tree. My beautiful fig tree is growing figs right now. There's about eight, eight figs on this tree. I just, it's beautiful, I love my fig tree. Mwah. Anyways, I'm going to take a cutting from my fig tree today and show you how to propagate them, which is quite simple. This is the end result of one I just did. There's a fig tree inside there. And um, I put a stick in this cup, which has a moist soil. And this fig tree is just the cutting, which I'll show you how to take the cutting, put it in to the soil. And then I made this greenhouse effect with this stick and some plastic. And that's that. But I'll show you how to take the cutting and get your, your clippers. Um, I'm going to take a cutting from a branch that's growing inwards towards the tree because you want your tree to flourish out. You want it to be like an umbrella effect. So I'm not going to take a cutting with the branch that has a fig on it. I'm going to take this cutting here because it has some hardwood, it has a the nodes, and it has a butt at the top. I'm going to cut it on the node, on an angle, so I've got this small cutting here. I'm gonna take off these branches because they will just take energy away from the cutting. And this is what I'm left with. Now, you wanna do a little scarring on the side. Just a little scarring, which you can do um, downwards with a knife like this, or you can shave off a little. I'm just going to do a little, little bit of both, okay? Just so there's a little bit of the root exposed because Sorry, not the root, the, the bark exposed because that's where the roots are gonna grow out of. Now I'm gonna take my cutting, I'm going to place it in the pot with the soil. I'm going to make sure that the soil is compact, really compact, all like it, it's touching, it, it's all the way around the plant. It's, it's compact in there. It's like it's got a nice snug little bed because that's very important so the you have soil, um, bark contact so the roots can grow and the last step will be to create its little greenhouse so i'm just going to take this stick here put it in put the plastic on top oops i'll be fixing that after um just making sure that the cutting is nice and straight and then i'll be wrapping this little greenhouse a lot uh, around and then I'll be putting this on my windowsill. Hello, Tubi. Hi, you want to tell your story? This little kitty, I just moved to this place. Her name is Tubi. Hey, Tubi. She's very, very pregnant. See her? Very pregnant. She's about ready to have her babies. Now, she was living, she came to this place I just moved um, about a few weeks after I moved here and she was a stray cat. She didn't have a home. She lived under my house and I fed her every day um, for the entire winter. And there, I didn't feel bad because there was a heater under the house to keep the pipes warm. <laughs> Anyways, she uh, got pregnant. She's a very young cat, I think. Just a year old, I imagine. She got pregnant and in the last couple days she just wanted to come in the house and so I let her in the house and now I have two cats because I also have <laughs> this cat. This cat is a senior cat. Anyways, Tubi is about to have kittens. I think she wants to go outside. 
And I wanted to show you the site for, whoa. <laughs> I wanted to show you the site for my new, for the greenhouse, which is gonna be right outside my door here. There's my orange tree. There's my aloe. Here's my fig tree again. There's where Tubi's been living on that side. My windowsill is just full of plants and seedlings and have. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing more gardening tips once I get my greenhouse up and running.